What's up guys, it's Dalmata here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Ill Will Press Foamy the Squirrel video. So this one we've got small, medium, and large. Uh, looks like you got your main at a restaurant again. Uh, oh, I, it's Starbucks, tall, grande, venti. Anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Like, oh my god, welcome to Star Schmuck's Coffee Houses. Uh, may I take your order? <laughs> Hello? Um, yes, can I get a venti white chocolate mocha thingy? The funny thing is, this is, this would have been, like, crazy expensive back then. That's, like, not that... It's... Inflation is so bad that that's not that wild now. I mean, $9 for a coffee is still pretty insane, but... I want a fucking large hazelnut coffee without that, you know, sucky undertaste you people have. Fucking nasty. Spare me the undertaste! <laughs> We don't have large, bitch. Uh, excuse me, he did not just say he didn't have large. Yeah, he did. Well, what the fuck does that mean? No large? Well, what is that? No, no, you see, they changed the names of the sizes for the cups of coffee. Well, what does that mean? Look, see, small is now called tall, medium is now grande, and large is venti. Venti? What kind of Nazi speak is that? Nazi <laughs> is <laughs> 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 this is not, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Italian, is it? It's some Latin language. Oh. Forgive my squirrely ignorance, but isn't small the opposite of tall? Uh, yeah, in, in the real world it is anyway. Oh, I see what you're doing. They call small tall because it makes the customer feel good when they pay $3 for a urine sample sized cup of coffee swill. This way it seems that they're getting more because the word tall is stuck in their psyche. I see their psychological marketing trickery. You tricky bastards. Eh, that's mm -hmm. what you all are. Fucking tricky. Yeah, whatever. Eh, don't give me that shit. When was the last time you went to a taco hell and ordered a taco grande and got a medium sized taco? Invente isn't even a word. It's some fucking hoity-toity phrase used to make people feel sophisticated when ordering a large <laughs> coffee. So when they part with the $5... <laughs> I mean, it is a word, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it just means 20 because it's 20 ounces, right? Well, it's for the cup of coffee. They don't feel like a fucking moron. Are you saying I'm not sophisticated? I'm saying you're fucking stupid. Fuck this. <laughs> a small cup of coffee for 50 cents around the corner. But then you don't get the trendy Star Schmucks coffee cup that you, like, carry around like a status symbol, man. Ah, uh, you can take a Vente razor and shove it up your ass, you tall brain moron. Fucking choke up. But is Starbucks coffee even good? I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. I know, like, their their frappuccinos are fucking amazing. The vanilla bean frappuccino, so damn good. But it's also expensive. They, I, I haven't had one in years, but even back in the day before massive inflation, I think they were almost 10 bucks if you wanted a, a vente. Got a biscotti. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I feel Foamy's pain when it comes to Starbucks. It's, it's too expensive. And it's like, yeah. Other than the vanilla bean frap, nothing's really worth getting there. That, that, at least that I've ever had. Like, I've had the desserts and stuff they have there, and they, they, they taste, like, worse than Tim Hortons. And Tim Hortons... I mean, Tim Hortons is expensive now, too, because of inflation, but... Not nearly as bad as Starbucks, but... Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.